This video is out there for anyone who is having trouble with one of the common Fly Sky receivers. This uh, is a three channel. I bought them in a pack of two. They're like $7 a piece. Anyways, I was turning this little car of my daughter's into a remote control car. Um, I've got a pretty gutted here. A little brushless electronic speed controller, servo, and then the receiver. Well, everything was working perfectly. Um, I took the receiver. This is identical to what's in there. And I removed all these pins so that I could solder directly to the board itself. If it focuses or not. But in doing so, it stopped working. Channel 3 was not working, which is throttle. And I tried everything. I tried switching it, everything around. Channel 2 would work perfectly. Um... So if I put channel 2 to the speed controller, it would work perfectly, but it would be the right joystick only. So throttle would have been on this side, steering would have been on this side. And this is a really crappy uh, transmitter. It's like my cheapest transmitter I own. So I didn't really feel like doing with all that. Um, so going over and over the board, trying to look at every little detail between the brand new one and the one that wasn't working, I noticed this little tiny, you can't even see it, but there is a little surface mount 1K resistor. And it is so small, it's about the grain, size of a grain of salt. You'll notice if you look at one of these boards, there are several just tiny, tiny little blobs. And typically they're little resistors or diodes. And when I got all these pins hot to desolder this, I accidentally desoldered a little tiny 1K resistor. And I finally figured that out. But I didn't have any surface mount 1K resistors. So I did a really kind of funny repair here is I actually mounted a quarter uh, watt like a big full-size resistor onto those two little tiny pads and man that was not easy but I just wanted to see if that would actually work and sure enough that remedied the problem channel 3 is working so I'm going to try to find a surface mount resistor to make this actually a little more professional but if not I'll tuck this away and you'll never know so real pain in the butt the only reason i had to take it out of the case is because there's so little room to work with that i needed as much space as possible so that i could tuck it right down in here so if anyone has a problem with one of the channels going out especially if you've soldered to it just go through Follow all the traces. This actually brand new board, I saw one pin right here that's actually a bad solder joint. And I haven't even used this one yet. So I'm guessing that this is funny as it may be. This is channel three as well. This one, I would go just touch that solder joint up before I even tried using it. But I'm guessing that it would probably develop problems with channel three if it even worked on channel three so anyways if you're having any problems with one of your channels just follow the traces check all of the solder joints make sure that everything looks good i mean i even pulled a magnifying glass out and was just going over every little solder joint trying to see what was the problem so luckily i figured it out i was just about to give up and throw the whole thing away swap it with this one and I just uh, didn't want to do it, even though it's only $7. I figured I should be able to fix it because everything else was working okay. And sure enough, it's fixed. So I'll show you this bad boy when it's all said and done. But uh, it's actually going to be pretty cool. All right, I want to take you guys in for a little bit closer look. Let's see if we can see this. You can already see a little better what's going on here. This tiny little guy right there. Let's see if we can get a magnifying. 
So right there at the end of my tip, that's actually a 1K resistor. Oh, and also I had mentioned about the bad solder joint. You can actually see it right there pretty well. So what I had to do was, once again, solder in this big full-size resistor. And boy, that was hard. If you look at this trace, and if you look at this, it was very difficult. But it worked, so all is well. You put it back together, and I will show you when everything's all done.